leadership. I start off my leadership program by discussing the qualities of a successful leader. What I want your people to do is begin to write down some of those qualities. They are focused, determined, persistent, goal setter, fair, like that. And then I'm going to get them to rate themselves on a scale from 1 to 10. 1 being the worst, 10 being the best as far as those qualities go. Let me just tell you that they're going to leave there knowing the kind of work they have to do. And they'll also leave there patting themselves on the back thinking, I do this. I got an 8 or a 9 on that one. This one, ah, I got a 3 or 4. So that's a good thing. The other thing we're going to look at is vision and mission. They're going to write down their vision. And you know what? A lot of people have vision. They go, yeah, this is great. But what about the mission? The mission is the game plan to make sure the vision comes true. So we look at those two things, vision and mission. And the vision for the department, the vision for the company. It depends upon who's in the audience. Obviously, if the owner of the company is there, they're going to talk about the vision for the company. If the person in sales is there, uh, VP of sales, they're going to talk about the, the vision for the sales department. And the mission, of course, is how we're going to come uh, make that happen, bring that to fruition. I want to talk about communicating appreciation and how important that is as far as leadership goes. Many people have said to me, you know, my boss comes in and um, the, he just doesn't say hello. I don't know. I'm not sure he likes me. See, it's important that you know that when you come in to turn on your people, and all it takes is you looking at them going, how you doing? What's going on? Good to see you. All right, let's fire up. It's that simple. But if you don't, and communicating appreciation, which they did a great job, say, you know, I appreciate it. I saw that what you did the other day. Very good. See, I've had bosses that I loved, that I thought were great. And you know what? I would have gone to the end of the earth for them. Why? Because I trusted them, I respected them, and I think they respected me. And I've also had bosses that I didn't think were so great. You know, there's a fact out there that says that someone who works for a company that does a great job, likes their job, gets good benefits, gets good money, and it's close to their home, so everything's perfect, they'll leave that job if they don't have respect for their immediate supervisor. I talk about that in my leadership program. How important you as a supervisor, team leader, owner, manager, VP of sales, CEO, how important how you do what you do is every single day. You're either turning people on or turning them off. And you want to turn them on because if people get appreciated, they'll go to the end of the earth for you. I'm going to talk about 12 leadership ideas that I got from a woman that is in charge of 9,500 people. Wow, she was great. I'll share those with, with you. And I'm also going to talk about, um, bring out different um, strategies and ideas from people like Vince Lombardi, Jack Welsh, Marcus Buckingham, Colin Powell, Stephen Covey, and even Mother Teresa. You want your people to do this leadership program. It's great. You'll love it, they'll love it, and they'll get a lot of value out of it. Thank you.